Speaker, I'm, I'm frustrated and angry, but also deeply saddened. The law enforcement profession is an honorable one. To have so much compassion for others that you are willing to put your life on the line, it is, as we say, a call to service, and not many hear that call today. If you had asked me a few years ago if my children should become law enforcement officers, I would have undoubtedly said yes. But after these last few years, observing the treatment of our law enforcement officers, I would have to think twice about my answer. Since 2020, I have watched the law enforcement profession become a punching bag, scapegoated by rabid media pundits more interested in clickbait than the facts, villainized by Hollywood, and disparaged by city councils, members of this Congress, both men and women, and even our president. Yet all these people expect law enforcement to respond to the calls for service. They expect them to take the verbal assault and show up with a smile on their face ready to serve. The wonderful thing about my brothers and sisters in uniform is that despite this treatment and abuse, they will show up. They will answer every call. They will sacrifice their safety for others. They will help protect their community no matter how much ridicule or resentment they face. But I am here to say the things that they can't. I'm here to protect my brothers and sisters in the blue and brown because others won't. Enough is enough. Law enforcement officers deserve our respect, our admiration, and our support. To provide anything less is unacceptable. The resolution before us acknowledges the change in attitude towards law enforcement over the last few years and the subsequent violence directed toward them. It acknowledges that they respond to the calls for service no matter who is on the other line. It acknowledges that the job has only become more dangerous and more mentally and physically exhausting, yet they still show up for work, not knowing if they've kissed their families goodbye for the last time. Importantly, this resolution also acknowledges that we, in this chamber, set the standard. We are the ones who must demonstrate a respect for the rule of law and a respect for our law enforcement officers if we are to expect the public to do the same. We must do so in our actions, in our conversations, and even the policies we consider. Bills that never become law can have the most staggering ripple effect they can persuade local municipalities to implement soft on crime policies and strip law enforcement of resources. They can encourage the public to cheat, steal, and disrespect fellow community members. They can cause good, noble people to change their minds about entering the profession that I love so much, which is law enforcement. Actions have consequences, and our communities are suffering as a result. But let's take this moment to learn to change the better for the better. We can rise to the moment, stand with our law enforcement officers, reestablish law and order, and bring safety back to our communities. I encourage all of my colleagues to vote on this resolution.